Hello everyone, you are welcome to part 2 of the course uh, Deep Learning Theory and Applications. Uh, in part 2 we discuss uh, about probability theory and uh, stochastic process. Um, what we are going uh, to um, explain today is just a review uh, like in, in uh, uh, freestyle uh, way about um, major concepts of probability so it, it is a, a good and uh, fast review for probability theory and stochastic process uh, however for those that they need more uh, to know about this topic uh, I will upload also about four hours of lectures uh, that I gave in uh, uh, the course mach of machine learning so I will upload them also so you can watch that it is highly recommended to watch those four hours uh, and also with this fast review about probability theory before we continue in this seminar uh, okay so why probability theory why probability And also, uh, maybe before we answer this why probability theory, what is probability theory? Okay, so um, uh, to answer this what is probability first, uh, probability theory is a mathematical foundations uh, which will uh, give us some quantification or some measure for the uncertainty. So probability theory is a mathematical uh, equations or mathematical foundations that it will quantify the uncertainty. The uncertainty is anything that we are not sure 100% about it. So if you are not sure 100% of the outcome of any event or any experiment, okay, then we have some kind of uncertainty every future events it has some kind of of uncertainty it can be high uncertainty or low uncertainty it depends on how much that we can predict about it okay so um, but in general um, in life we have uncertainty almost in everything okay so uh, probability theory is the concepts that it will quantify, it will give some number, okay, or some like equations uh, to address the uncertainty in events, okay. Then why uncertainty? Why we need, uh, or why probability, sorry, why we need probability in machine learning or in deep learning? Because machine learning or deep learning in general, they will or they should deal with reality. Okay, and in reality, we have uncertainty everywhere. Okay, so in that sense, we need some kind of measure of this uncertainty in order to maximize our uh, 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 success by taking certain action. Okay, now if you are blind or if the machine learning is completely blind they don't know anything they don't they don't have any uh, 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 like information about certain process and they need to take action assume that machine learning or that algorithm they they should take one of let's say n uh, strategies or n actions one of n actions Okay, if they don't know anything about the process, what action they, sh they should do? Of course, it will be completely blind. So they can just take any of those in actions and proceed with them or doing nothing. That's all. They don't have any information or they don't have uh, like any measure. So they cannot uh, have any conclusion about the environment in order to take their proper action. However, if we have information or we have data about the process itself, then we can process this data. And even if there are some uncertainty, we can formulate the data or the information in order that to find the optimum action. And the optimum action is that one 
which will maximize the, the chance that we achieve the objective that we want to achieve to maximize the, the chance or to maximize the probability that we, 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 we will hit the target that we want to achieve. So this is actually the concept here. So it is very important, extremely important to study probability and the stochastic process in order to understand what is what uncertainty means and how to address this uncertainty in some mathematical formulas. And then we can find the optimum algorithm to deal with, with, with the uncertainty in the, uh, uh, in the problem. Uh, there are actually countless number of examples that we can we can say here. For example, in autonomous car, uh, when the autonomous car, the, the cars that without drivers or the car which just move with with some artificial intelligence, so they have camera, they might have the GPS, and also they have radar, uh, uh, and they just watch the street. Okay, and however. It is impossible to, to address all possible events that it might face this car. Okay, there are there are countless number to, to events that might happen. In that case, um, there are a lot of uncertainty about the street, what is going on after a while. Okay, what that car in front of us, they will do. So uh, we have to to put some 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 uh, like proposals or some uh, uh, possibilities, and then we select what is the optimum one in order to have the proper action or how to prepare the autonomous car action to do with certain situation. Um, uh, if the uh, uh, like autonomous car uh, uh, when it was in, in certain like road then in front of us or the front of the car there is a ball coming out so the camera recorded a ball just ball coming out on the street okay from where this ball came okay so uh, should the car just avoid hitting the ball or they should think from where this ball came because there might be a child running after the ball. So, I mean, there are many things can happen, okay? So, in, in that sense, uh, the study of probability and the stochastic process is very important. We can see that most of the algorithms in machine learning and uh, uh, in deep learning in general, they are uh, either... Uh, built out of probability directly, probability theory, like Bayesian theorems and so on. So they are directly built from there. So we start for, by probability theory and out of that, we, um, we, we come to some algorithm which can maximize or optimize the solution. Or even if, if the uh, uh, algorithms were not based on probability, like for example, based just, just on linear algebra or something, even in that case, the algorithms could be like interpreted or it could be explained under the, the, the light of probability theory, the performance of that algorithms. It could be studied also in, in, in the light of probability theory. So probability theory is very important. And as I mentioned in the uh, uh, in beginning of this course, that deep learning and machine learning in general, they, they are standing on, on two pillars. Linear algebra and probability theory. Okay. Uh, after this introduction about uh, probability and its importance, uh, uh, let us have, uh, as I said, that now we are going in fast way, like like uh, uh, just like some kind of chat actually about probability. So when we have any experiment, let me take another free paper. Okay, so assume that we have any experiment which might generate only two outcomes. So outcome, let's say X or outcome Y. Okay, and we have some certain uncertainty about the outcomes of the experiment. We have many examples, like for the, the, the simplest one or the classical one is tossing a coin. When you toss a coin, then you might have like head or tail, or um, uh, uh, if you uh, when you, uh, it will uh, uh, like rain 
uh, today afternoon or it is not raining um, you will pass the exam or not pass the exam uh, you will achieve what you want to do or not your team will win uh, uh, the the game or fail i mean uh, there are actually many examples that it can be represented as two outcomes okay uh, in that sense uh, we have we assume that we have some uncertainty about the outcome okay and in that case we can say that there's a probability so the quantification here is based on the probability so this probability that that b of the outcome if we assume that the event is a okay is 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 should be between 0 and 1 so this probability is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 1 Okay, uh, it has been agreed that zero means impossible event to occur, one means that certain. So if the probability, when we say that the outcome of this experiment, it has a probability one that it will be X, it means, it means that it is 100% sure, so it is certain. So now it becomes deterministic, it is certain, the output. When it is zero, then it means that it is impossible it cannot happen at any at any sense or in any sense okay so if we have like many outcomes of certain experiment not two for example here we have two it means that the probability uh, uh, if those two are mutually exclusive what is meaning of a mutually exclusive it means that if one of them happen the other the other option or the other outcome is never or will never happen it means that like, like the head and, and tail, if the coin landed head, it will never be tail in the same time. So in that case, we call them like mutually exclusive. And in that sense, we have the probability that the, out, the outcome that equal to x uh, 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 plus the probability that the outcome is y is, must be 1. Okay, it means that the, 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 those are mutually exclusive or disjoint events. If we have many outcomes of certain experiments, for example, we have like we have outcome like x1, x2, and up to xn, and all of them they are mutually exclusive. In that case, it is the same. So the summation of probability of xi from i equal to one up to n must be one. Okay, so the, 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 the total probability must be 1 in case that all of them, they are mutually exclusive. Okay, and um, yes, so uh, the, the, the second point that we, we need to uh, discuss is this, the concept of sample space. The sample space is uh, the, the, the set which contains all possible outcomes of certain experiments or certain or certain process. So if we have certain uh, um, uh, like uh, experiment which can which can have like many outcomes x1, x2, y1, y2, whatever. So the sample space S is is the set which contains all all possible outcomes. Possible outcomes. Okay, and uh, then what is the probability that if the event, if there is some event of uh, uh, of one of the sample space, what is the pro the probability that one of those events will be in the sample space? Of course, the probability is one. The probability of the sample space is one. For example, if you toss a coin, what is the probability that you will get head or tail? Of course, it is one. Okay, Be uh, in that sense, because the sample space contains two elements in this case, that it is head or, or tail. And uh, uh, now we can also talk about the um, joint probability. So we can have also more than one event in the same time. And we call in that case... Uh, we can talk about about uh, and or so the probability of event x or y is defined with the or symbol like x or y and in that case it is if x and y are mutually exclusive it will be a probability of x 
plus probability of y. Given that x and y, they are disjoint uh, uh, events, means that they cannot happen in the same time. Okay, and uh, and operation is x and y. Okay, this is another operation is the and uh, uh, operation, which means that they 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 occur in uh, uh, simultaneously. Okay, not necessarily in time, of course. But but uh, uh, it can be, for example, in, in space, it can be whatever. So, or even conceptual simultaneously. Now, it is, it is uh, what is this one? To describe what this, this equals, this we need to, to uh, talk first about uh, dependency first. However, that if we assume x is at this, this event is x, and we have this event y, Okay, and we have this is the sample space S. So X is subset of S, Y is subset uh, of S as well, and this is the relation between X and Y. So we have some some joint elements between X and Y. In that case, the probability that you will have X or Y is the same as the probability of X, as we show here. This is X plus probability of y this one this one however you can see that this disjoint between x and y it, it it has been repeated two times it has been repeated with x and also repeated again with y so we we should remove one of them so we said that minus probability of a and uh, sorry probability of x and y okay probability of x and y so this is the x and y so this is the 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 the, uh, uh, the, the uh, all operation or the summation op operation of probability in 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 terms of events so this is one of the interpretation of probability based on sample space based on sample space okay so we can extend this actually to to uh, uh, estimate or to determine what is the probability of certain event this could be extended, and uh, this could be done. Uh, for example, let us assume that uh, we have experiment of of tossing uh, uh, a die, a dice like this. So we have one dot, two dots, three dots, and so on. Okay. So we have from one dot to six dots. Okay. Now it is also every event here is mutually exclusive with the others which means that the sample space it contains one dot two dot dots and till six dots this is the sample space okay what is the probability that you will get the sample space we know that it is one and since all of them they are mutually exclusive it means that this will be probability of one dot plus probability of two dot plus until probability of six dots if every event is equally likely so we don't have like like uh, uh, bising in 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 throwing uh, the dice so we, all of them they have the, the same probability and in that case of course because if we can call if anyone like alpha so it will be like six alpha six alpha will be like 6 sorry 6 alpha equal to 1 and then alpha equal to 1 over 6 what does that mean it means that the probability of each one is 1 over 6 of each one so from where we 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 came to this uh, uh, conclusion about probability from that it, it is conceptual approach based on the sample space concept based on the sample space concept okay so uh, uh, actually this this concept is clear and also it is um, uh, if given that the experiment is fair it means that it is equal, uh, equally likely it gives us uh, exact result but 
This exact result is just a theoretical result. Why? If one of, of those are they are not fair, for, for example, assume that one of the uh, one of the uh, or, the, or, or the, the person who throw this dice is not fair and uh, uh, they try all the time to maximize the chance that they get the face of six dots. Okay, in that sense, this will not work anymore. This, this will not work because this one will be, it, it, it is based on the equally likely concept. Okay, how could we estimate in that case? Uh, there's another op uh, uh, another motivation actually. Uh, not every problem in, in in real life or in reality it could be represented uh, in this nice and uh, uh, simple sample space concept. Uh, if we talk about, for example, the relation between genetics, a human genetics, and and diabetic, it is not easy to find the, the, the uh, or to put the space, the, the, the sample space. The sample space, first of, first of all, even if we know it, it can be very huge. And the second thing that actually we still, we don't know a lot of information about the exact connection between genetics and diabetes. Okay, so it is not possible to, to build this, this even uh, we are interested to build some let's say a probability model or uncertainty model about this connection between between genes and and uh, human genes and uh, the diabetes or any other disease even we are interested to build such kind of uncertainty model okay however it is not possible to build it in this way in this in this approach um also, the, the, the example is what is the probability that when uh, for the autonomous car that it will face or it will uh, uh, see a ball on the road? What is the probability for this? This this cannot also be built over this sample space concept. We have countless set or countless number of possibilities on the road. Okay, what is the probability that they will get, they will uh, uh, hit a, a ball, for example? Or what is the probability that in certain road, there is one driver they, that uh, will not respect the traffic light and they cross when the light is green? What is the probability for that? Is it possible to build such probability based on the concept of the sample space? No. It is not possible because we have countless, uh, uh, countless n number of many, many events, and actually uh, we, we, we don't have that, the, or we cannot formulate this problem with this symbol like, like uh, dice uh, game or, or tossing a coin or even n number of coins. The problem is much, much more complicated. Okay, how could we build another approach to uh, like uh, assess or, the, or, or, or find the probability of certain event? Uh, th the second approach is called that it is based on a frequency. So it is based on the, 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 um, um, the frequency of things to, to happen. Okay, so how it, is, uh, it could be cal uh, calculated simply uh, if we if we are looking for certain problem, and uh, which has sorry which has a sample space, or we don't care now about the sample space, but but we are interested in certain event of that of that experiment, and we call this event like E, event E, and we are interested to know what is the probability of this event to happen. Okay, if we have the possibility to repeat the experiment in times, then the probability of E, it could be interpreted as the limit when this repetition goes to infinity, the number where this event E happen divided by the total number of the experiment repetition. So this definition of frequency or, or the, the, the relative uh, 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 runs uh, uh, between the number of appearance of event E divided by the total number of experiment is 
is a, a, a very very important approach to compute the probability and actually i uh, i can say in in reality most of uh, 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 the uh, conclusion about uncertainty is based on this approach uh, this approach also is uh, uh, the major approach or the backbone of a monte carlo simulation so it is very important to know this approach and actually it is approved mathematically that this approach will converge to the probability if uh, based on the uh, like sample space okay now if we apply this concept in the experiment of this dice and we assume now they are not equally likely and we are watching that what is the probability that this guy will 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 uh, get the uh, the the six uh, dots and after repeating and we are watching how many times that uh, that uh, uh, the dice landed at a uh, six dots and uh, by, for example, assume that we watched 100 times the experiment, and out of 100 times, 40 times the six dots appeared. Then we can have a conclusion that the probability of E equal to, of course, it is not exact, we don't know exactly how to find this probability, but we are just approach because this probability will, will converge with the probability one, with, will, will converge to the correct probability if the number is repeated too many times but 100 times it it, it, it it is enough if if the probability is about 0.4 it would be enough to give us some conclusion about the probability of of getting uh, uh, this six uh, uh, dots now assume that this experiment is repeated only one time so if n equal to one only one time and the outcome was not six then our approach or, or our uh, 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 like conclusion that the probability of getting six dots equal to zero. Of course, this the error in this probability is very high. The error in this probability is very high. So if they repeat this n so two times, then we still didn't get any six dots. Then we can say still it is zero. But if it is a three, for example, if we got one. Then we say that is one of what we, and we can increase this uh, uh, probability or decrease, of course, depends on the outcomes of the experiment until we approach to the close or accurate enough probability. And so this probability actually is a quantification of the uncertainty of getting six dots from throwing this die, dice. So uh, actually, this probability is is not only uncertainty for us, but it might be also uncertainty for the person who who throw the dice himself or herself, because uh, uh, he or, or or she cannot be sure that to get six every time. It is something not depending on the how skillful that that they they throw the the dice, but depends on many other things as well. So in that in that case, of course, they can improve. They can increase the the probability of, of, of getting certain certain phase, but still we have always some uncertainty associated with that. Okay. Uh, after this um, um, uh, fast uh, uh, review about probability and probability concept, let us talk about conditional probability. Or Okay, let us first talk about conditional probability and then we talk about a random variable. Okay, now if we have two, two uh, uh, events, X and event Y. Okay, so two different events. What is our uncertainty about X is probability of X. This is the quantification. It can be 0.2. If it is 0.2, it means that 20% event x will happen so this is our uncertainty about event x what is event y but our uncertainty about even event y is probability of y now we are looking to x and y like individually or separately so we have the probability of x is our uncertainty about x probability of y is our uncertainty about event y okay um what is the probability or what is the impact of uh, uh, of event uh, X if event Y has happened? 
okay so this is actually uh, very important to uh, 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 very important part to know what is the relation or um, what is the dependency between x and and y okay so if we know why has happened how this knowledge will affect our uncertainty about x so this is the this is the idea this is the idea here that we need we need so uh, we can represent this as x of x given y conditioned y so this means that what is the probability or how can we interpret this 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 relation it means that what is the probability that x would occur given or condition that y has occurred so this is the the condition so y has occurred how this will affect our uncertainty about x okay so if x and y are completely independent of course that the knowledge of y has occurred or not occurred will not change our uncertainty about x however we are living in a, 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 a in world which is all well many things are interrelated to each other maybe direct interrelation or indirect interrelation so things are related to each other things are correlated with each other okay so uh, uh, and in general um, the occurrence of y actually if we go a little bit deeper uh, even there is dependency we have two kinds of dependency here the first dependency that x will our uncertainty about x will be affected by the occurrence of y but x could happen without y but there is a relation okay the other thing that x depends completely on y so the occurrence of y is necessary to happen that x to happen i will explain those in 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 uh, like simple way so in general this probability is given by by this simple equation which also, also could can be easily approved uh, probability of x and y now we use comma for and okay it is like like the the intersection symbol but it, we can also make it like the comma probability of x and y divided by probability of y okay so here this means that the probability or our uncertainty about x condition that y has occurred equal to the probability of x and y divided by probability of y so probability of y here just independent of x so this is our uncertainty about y alone okay so this is important to remember now uh, uh, from this even it looks simple equation we can actually like like build a lot of other interesting theorems uh, first for independency if x and y are completely independent there is no relation between between them in that case it is intuitive to say that x given y is equal to what what you think some people here when we say that x and y are independent and the occurrence of y will not affect or impact anyway the, the, our uncertainty about x they say that this probability of x given y equal to zero this is not true actually this is not true because what is the meaning of zero if you put here zero it means that the occurrence or the the the, the, the happening of y will prevent x so this means that they are dependent actually they are dependent because the, if we know that y has happened this will affect our knowledge about x s cannot happen in that case it is mutually exclusive they are zero when they are mutually exclusive and mutually exclusive means full dependency okay however the probability of x conditioned y is equal to probability of x because y has occurred 
or occurred or didn't occur, it will not affect our uncertainty about about x. Okay, so this is important to know. Uh, uh, in, in that case, this could be represented as if we substitute this here. So probability of x equal to probability of x and y divided by probability of y in case of independency. Okay, in that case, so probability of x and y equal to probability of x times probability of y. So remember, this is one of the results we can obtain from this, from this relation. This will be true if and only if x and y, they are independent on each other. They are independent of each other. Okay, so... Um, um, let us take example about this. So if we have like uh, 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 in, uh, we have a, a, a doctor in certain hospital and then uh, this doctor has uh, like a conclusion of the, about uncertainty about those people who came with diabetes that that the probability of those who came to the hospital with diabetes is is let's say 0.1. So 10 percent of people, they 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 found they who came with certain symptoms, they found that they have diabetes. Okay, and now this is the general probability of uncertainty, or this is the uncertainty level of this doctor based on his or her experience only. Okay, now the uh, he or she in hospital, and then one patient came. Okay, and now we have some condition. So, uh, what is the probability of this con of this uncertainty of that patient that he has a diabetic or diabetic, given that condition that this patient name is Timo. So the name is Timo. Okay, so. Uh, uh, does the name affect anyway the uncertainty of doctor? Of course, intuitively no. So, at least from uh, like like generally, uh, it, is, it doesn't have any effect that the name on the probability that this person will have like diabetes or not. Okay, so in that case. This one will not be like like affecting, and then the probability of x, given that the name is Timo, is equal to the probability of x. Uh, it will not be affected. Okay. However, now if uh, this doctor found that this person uh, has uh, or uh, overweight, it is clearly that he has overweight. Okay. In that case, this knowledge. This observation that he has overweight will affect the uncertainty of that uh, uh, that he has diabetic or not. He, this person is diabetic or not. So because he has like high overweight, it means that this probability it might go up for this doctor to be like instead of 0.1 to be like 0.3, and in that case, this doctor might ask to have like uh, blood sample to check if the, the sugar level in the blood. Okay, so now with this knowledge affecting the uncertainty level of doctor. Okay, uh, of course it can be also go down. For example, if uh, the person that he came, that that uh, uh, Temu is uh, like, like uh, uh, a sportman, he, he, he's running a lot, he has like fit body and everything is uh, good in general. So this probability, he might go down to be like 0.01. And in that case, doctor might uh, prefer to check other things, not, not the, the sugar level. For example, this is just an example how this, this knowledge or this observation will affect the, 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 uh, our uncertainty. Okay? Of course, we will see later how to put that in 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 more formal uh, way. How to put that in more formal way? Okay. Now we we uh, see more about this. Okay. Now this probability of x given y we said that is equal to zero if and only if x and y are mutually exclusive. 
the occurrence of one will avoid the other from being uh, executed or, or appeared. Okay, and uh, also uh, uh, we can swap between x and y. So we said that probability of x given y equal to probability of x and y divided by probability of y and also probability of y given x is equal to the same probability of x and y because this it, it, it doesn't matter x and y or y and x but here we divided by probability of x. Okay, if you make multiplication in this way, so we will have probability of x and y equal to prob sorry, there's no division mark here. So we have probability of y given x times probability of x fr from this equation. Okay, if we substitute this here, so we got the nice formula of probability of x given y is equal to probability of y given x times probability of x divided by probability of y. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, this formula is one of the most important formulas in, in, in machine learning and estimation theories called Bayesian formula. Okay, let us talk more about this formula. I will put it here. So probability of x given y equal to probability of y given x times probability of x divided by probability of y. Okay, now if we look to this equation, uh, our uncertainty about certain event x, given that some observation happen, y is observation. What is the meaning of observation or measurement? It means that it has happened. Something occurred already. And is this equal to probability of y given x? Okay, this is the probability. What is the possibility of our uncertainty about y given that x has happened times probability of x? This is our uncertainty about the event x regardless of the measurement. So we didn't see any measurement. And this is the probability of y, our uncertainty about y without looking to x. Okay. Uh, building some like, uh, like like conclusion about the case, let us go back to the same example of the patient which might have diabetes or not. Okay, so now we have a patient came to doctor as the, the, the previous exa example that we explained, and that person he has a symptoms that or has symptoms that it might be uh, a, a, a reason or a result of high sugar level in the blood. Okay, now assume that the doctor will not rely on his experience or her experience, or let us assume that we have artificial intelligent agent now, which will decide wh what to do uh, next. So now we need to know what is the probability that this patient has uh, a diabetes or not. This will be based on the historical information about uh, patients in that hospital. So assume that we have database. Okay. So in that database, we have, of course, here, for example, the names or maybe the names are like concealed, okay, for privacy. And then we have the attributes of patients. And then one of them, if the patient is diabetic or not, diabetic or not. And it can be many other attributes like age, like uh, body mass uh, weight or, or, or index, BMI, for example, and maybe blood pressure, uh, daily habits, or, or whatever, I mean, uh, a, uh, of other attributes that might affect. Okay, now for simplicity, let us only talk about BMI, the, the, the body mass index and the diabetes or the diabetic, the possibility that the person to be diabetic. Okay. Um, uh, now assume that uh, uh, this person that who came to the hospital, that Y represents the BMI. And for this person, this body mass index was, let's say, uh, uh, 30. Okay. The number was 30. Okay. And, um, uh, uh, how to build some conclusion, what is the probability of that person is diabetic, so x equal to d, given that y equal to 30. 
this is what we are looking for now okay and uh, now this equal to the probability that person is a diabetic for the, those person who are who have 30 uh, 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 what is the probability that that he uh, that this person is uh, is bmi 30 given condition that that he or she is a diabetic so we change now the concept here okay and this is the probability of being diabetic regardless of the bmi measure and this is the probability of be like with bmi measure regardless of being diabetic or not okay <clears throat> this value actually could be find easily with the with the uh, 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 database in the hospital okay how to do that assume they, that we have these cases in, in, in many situations, it is, it, it is good not to, to use only number 30, but, but we can take range. For example, let us that we are looking for those who have Y between greater than or equal to 29, okay, and this than or equal to 31, or between 28 and 32. So we can increase the range to have more, more results here. Okay, and now uh, uh, assume those who have this diabetic, that the, the, this BMI, assume that this one, this one no, this one, this one, this one, and this is no, and so on, okay? And for diabetes, or diabetic, assume that this guy no, this that guy has, has, no, no, has, has, has one, and, and so on, okay? Now, what is the probability? We are looking for this probability now. First, we can conclude from this or we can have this value the probability of being uh, within this bmi that greater than or equal to 29 less than or equal to 31 okay given or conditioned that that x equal to d is diabetic this value can could be easily found from the database Okay, wait, how? First, we allocate those who are diabetic. So we, uh, we ignore those who are not diabetic. So we come to this one. This is one. Okay, this, this is two. This is three. And this is four. Okay, this is five. And so on. So we, we, we mark those who, who, who are diabetic. Okay, out of those who are diabetic, how many of them they have this kind of of like like BMI from 29 to 31. Okay, assume that we have one, two, three, four, five cases. Out of five cases, we have one, one, two. Assume that we have two. So it means that the, this probability is equal to two divided by five. Okay, this is the way that we can find this probability. So this is the probability that 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 uh, uh, the BMI within that range, given or conditioned that this person is a diabetic, okay? And this is two over five. Then we are looking for the probability of being diabetic, regardless of the BMI. So we don't look to any of these values or factors. We are just look count how many of those who have diabetic divided by the total number of patients. This will be probability of X. And then we compute probability of Y. Probability of Y is the same. What is the percentage of those who have diabetics, regard, uh, sorry, those who have uh, this BMI range, regardless of any other like, like observation? Only this one. We are looking only to this column. We divide how many? Cases that we have one, two, three, four, five divided by the total number of patients. Okay. Now we, we when we compute those values, we substitute it here. Then we will have what is the probability of x given that y. Okay. So probability of x in the beginning is the probability of x regardless of any observation. Now the probability of x given y is the probability after observing some knowledge about the case. Okay, so what is the conclusion here that we should know? The conclusion here that I, I would I, I would like to emphasize or to, 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 to focus on now that in, in machine learning or in, in artificial intelligence that our 
uncertainty level is it more likely to happen or less likely to happen should be accumulated with more knowledge that we have for example uh, for this person if we have the pro uh, what is the probability of being diabetic but now we have more observation not only the bmi but we have y1 we have y2 we have y3 for example the weight the 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 uh, the age of the person, gender of the person, and so on. So, more information we have, then we, we, we can have more and more, uh, like, uh, certainty about the probability of, of, the, of the patient if, if he or she has high uh, blood uh, sugar or not. Okay, so this is the way that how could we increase our, uh, uh, our, our, our knowledge or our, our reduce uncertainty. Reducing the uncertainty. Okay, so for certain patient, patient, uh, what is the maximum uncertainty to have diabetic or not? Of course, the maximum uncertainty when the probability is equal to half. When it is half, it means that we fifty percent that this person has diabetes or high sugar uh, blood, or fifty percent he or she doesn't have. So now this is the maximum uncertainty that we have. When it goes down, then it is it, it most it means that our uncertainty is reduced or going up, of course. Okay. So uh, uh, I give another example which might make clarify what is the meaning of uncertainty. Assume that you are working in a, a company where you want to take a decision to invest money in certain project or not. So we have project here. And now you have to decide to, 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 to invest 1 million euro or dollar in this project or not. Okay. Of course, uh, uh, now you, you, before you decide uh, 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 this big decision about uh, investment or not, you, what you need, you need to calculate the risks. And then, what is the probability that you will like, like, like uh, get a profit or you, or you lose your money? Okay, the worst case for the decision maker when this probability is equal to half. Half means that 50-50. So the, you have 50% that you will lose your money, or you have 50% to get profit. Of course, now this decision could be based on this probability. It could help an other, 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 another like uh, uh, factors like, like like risk management and so on. But now we talk about a simple case. So uh, this is the worst case that you will have because in this case, if you have this situation, what you will do, you will just take a coin. And you said that if it was tail or it was head, then I will go to this project or not. And for sure, this is the worst situation that it can happen. Okay, it means that you cannot have any uh, 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 like like background or or solid ground to take a decision. However, if this probability goes up, for example, if it becomes like 0.8, that this project uh, is risky and 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 this uh, probability 80 percent that you will lose. This, this money, then of course it will be much clearer for you if you want to take the risk or not. Because now you know that it is risky. However, of course you might take it because, uh, and uh, for example, if, if the profit, it can be like 1 billion. So, so you, you might decide to take this, this, this risk, for example. It, it, it is up to you, now, but now you know more about this, about this uh, uh, project. Okay, so uh, if you know that it is 0.95 that it is uh, this project is successful, of course now you can take this decision. However, if it is 0.05 percent or, or 0.05 or 5 percent to lose, but no one will blame you and you will not blame yourself if you lose, because you you, you take the decision based on a clear vision about the uncertainty factor there. So you have uh, 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 you have taken decision based on on clear grounds, okay? Uh, and this is, of course, very important also for deep learning and machine learning uh, in order to decide uh, 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 to take some, some, some decision, for example, in pattern recognition, is this guy is uh, uh, X or Y, for example, to differentiate between those, those two, two, two persons, for example, or to decide something based on 
incomplete information, for example. So we will see many applications in this in this area. Okay. Next uh, next video we will talk about uh, uh, random variables and uh, more about how to formulate the uh, uncertainty or how to address the uncertainty in forms of algorithms. Thank you and see you to the, in the next video.